Welcome back to our channel, the Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had that barista that just applied to be a correctional officer after watching my video, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have them smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the newest patrons. Geo, Trailero760, Trevor, Main Jail Yard, Erasmo, Benny, Sergio, Grant, El Skid, Joquez, Nathan. We can't forget Abuelita's Journey, Dallas Herrero, and the retired CEO. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link in the description below. You are definitely missing out. This episode right here, man. Hector, you worked for the California Department of Corrections for 16 years, 1-6, as an officer, a sergeant, and a lieutenant. What the hell kind of training do you guys be doing up in there, man? We done be seeing you all kinds of crazy wild stuff, man. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are you guys actually trained to do? Well, you know, hmm. Aside from having been in the crisis response team as a tactical operator, a hostage negotiator, and eventually the commander, I was also an alarm response instructor. Yeah, you guys are hearing it now. Fucking, what is it, seven months later? Just goes to show you how much I don't truly care about titles, right? Meaning, when there's a riot, violence, staff assault, there is a protocol. There are procedures. There are training uh, procedures on how to properly, effectively quell that per policy, right? I was an instructor for that. I used to train these young kids and these old OG officers that didn't want to be part of the training because they were just counting their days and years and months to, to retire. I got to put a myth to rest right away because we've seen it. We've seen it on TV, police shootings. We've seen it over and over and over again, and we see the comments. Oh, well, couldn't they have just shot them in the leg? Couldn't they have just shot the knife out of their hand? Pink! Right? I gotta be real with you guys. I've only been real. That is not realistic. That is not realistic at all. That is a myth. And there is no, no agency that I know of that teaches you or trains you to shoot anywhere other than center mass. So what is center mass? I'll break it down to you guys. You definitely got to qualify on weapon systems, right? For, for CDCR, it's a Mini-14, Ruger Mini-14 chambered in 223. It's a lethal round for sure. Looks like a 5.56. Five, if I had one around here, I don't have one because I don't even be owning guns. Uh, they, um, it'll fuck some shit up, right? You're out at the range. You have paper targets. In the paper target, you have a silhouette. The silhouette is like a shadow of a person, depending on what kind it is. You know, the hands could be like this or like this, right? It looks, looks exactly like this. And there's a Coke bottle. What looks like a Coke bottle right here in the neck, in the chest. I should probably, once I get more richer and famous, sir, I'll get an editor and be able to put this shit in right now. But your boy just started, right? Just bear with me here, man. I'm painting the picture. In there, there's like a point system. You got like a five point, like a four point, like a three point, right? You also have the head. Don't forget the freaking head, right? The head has numbers too. Well, what we are teached, what we are taught, what the hell did I just say? High school diploma, GED, don't trip. What we are teached is to shoot center mass. Shoot to stop the threat. Listen to these, listen to these um, phrases. You're not hearing me say shoot to kill. We never have... Maybe in the old days, I don't know, 1970s, 1950s, 60s, shoot to stop the threat, period. There's a threat happening, 
You have an inmate stabbing another inmate like this, standing over him. The other inmate's fucking already all fucked up. Boom, boom, boom. I have to shoot to stop the threat. Right. Center mass. Center mass is where your heart is at. Let's get into the dive into the organs. Is where your heart is at. You got your, your chest cavity. You got your be having your lungs, right? And then up here you have your brain, clearly. You have your spine right down the freaking middle. Okay. So that in itself, let me. Oh God, I'm glad I'm having this video. Sometimes I just wake up and as I talk about training, Hector. Fuck it. They need to hear about training today, right? Training day. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how shitty some of these officers shoot. How, these sergeants, these lieutenants, these peace officers. I don't under, think you understand. These motherfuckers ain't no motherfucking snipers. I'll tell you that much. Oh my goodness. I, let's, let's talk about it. I used to be afraid at the range when I used to have like an old ass man shaking with a 38. He sees a new Glock. He doesn't even know what it is. He's pointing it at me and I'm like, hey, what the fuck? Somebody get him out of here, man. Right. They're just like sweat. You see the sweat profusely fucking hands all wet. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to die today. I'm going to die today. Right. That is what the truth is, man. Ain't nobody like hardcore, or maybe some people think they're hardcore, but they ain't hardcore, right? Uh, uh, right, like just, oh my goodness, you got these little tiny females, and not knocking the females, it's just, you know, struggling to pull that, that slide back on the Glock, and it's like, hey, it's a heavy slide. The, the spring is heavy, has tension, right? Oh my goodness, right? So, to, to be thinking, now you guys have an idea. You see these cops out on the street. Some of them are fat as fuck. Other ones are tiny little females. They ain't, come on, man. You ain't going to shoot a hand. You could barely even fucking... You could barely operate the firearm, let alone accurately put rounds on target. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. <laughs> Quote that. They could barely operate the firearm, let alone put... The Put rounds on targets. Well, heck, maybe they shouldn't be cops. Well, fuck, I don't see a long-ass list of people trying to be cops in this day and age. What am I going to get bottles thrown on them, spit loogies? <laughs> right? <laughs> so, let's take it a step further, right? The crisis response team. I told you about this little threat. I told you about this little silhouette coke bottle on the head. Oh my goodness! The, the best handgun training I ever received was in crisis response team. We will get a piece of chalk. They get a piece of chalk, and they will chalk from the bottom of the ear to the other bottom of the ear, from the freaking top of the forehead right here. You only got this much to hit. Right here. Boom. Lights out. Good night. Hostage situation. Boom. Can't afford anything else. That's a wrap, right? Um, There's a 5X circle. I forgot to tell you guys about the 5X circle. There's a 5X circle where the majority of rounds should be going in, right? That's where we train you to shoot. Um, We tape. We, we uh, get the chalk. We put the chalk across. You guys are getting some fucking gems over here, man. Get the chalk, put it across, right? And you have to hit inside the Coke bottle. So these rounds that are hitting in the shoulder, hitting over here in your big ass lats, because you be doing those pull-ups, ain't counting. Nothing fucking counts. You get a little liner. Eh, it depends on who. Maybe it counts, maybe it doesn't. Probably doesn't. Right, has to get inside of where tiny ass, tiny and fast too. Like boom, boom, boom. Right, failure drill. Two to the chest, one to the head. Boom, boom, boom. Fucking flawless, right? That's why when I sleep, I sleep like a baby, right? I just any little thing. I just be pointing shit, right? My daughter be ducking when I just be fucking lasering her, flagging her with a gun, right? It's just nah, just I can't say shit like that. People are gonna take it serious, you know. I don't be having guns. We've already established this, right? So, 
That was the uh, shooting, man. I felt like I had to get the most important part out of the way. So, you know, one thing I, fuck, I'll keep it real. One thing I never under really truly understood is like, I just went with it, is like, okay, you have two individuals stabbing another inmate to death, but then we got to go and we got to kill the guy that's doing it. Well, sometimes the person that's getting stabbed dies and then the person that gets shot dies. And it's like, okay, well, fuck. I mean, what did we accomplish, really? It's just a bunch of dead people everywhere. But I'm not there to question or to fucking... That wasn't my job at the time, right? But clearly people cannot go around stabbing other people. I think I've said this before. (sighs) Realistically, realistically. Now, riots. That was a good one because I just fucking told you guys the truth. Oh, there's different distances. There's a... Where there's a 50 yard mark. I get my yards and my meters confused because in the army we called them meters. We went with the meter metric and then uh, everywhere else is like yards. 50 yards, 100 yards. Standing, boom, 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 boom. Kneeling, boom, 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 boom. All the way to the back to the 100, right? Standing, boom, 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 boom. Kneeling, boom, boom, boom. And an elevated position. This was cool at Donovan. Imagine something that's actually fucking cool at Donovan. We actually climbed the top of the stairs into the railing and shooting from an elevated position from 100 yards. So it's almost, not almost, it is replicating you shooting from an um, elevated position. Observation tower, control booth, right? We weren't, we weren't doing that at Sentinella. We weren't fucking climbing to the top. Just all the way to the back. So, yeah, you're right there. Boom. Boom. (sighs) Boom. Right. Breathing. Uh, You guys, now you guys know, man. You guys always be hearing. What the fuck you guys doing out there? Shooting. Uh, The way we're taught. Safety. Safety is fucking huge out there. You you joke around. You do some buffoonery out there. You're you're going to get talk to hey man what the fuck are you doing right it's, weapons handling is dangerous if um riots alarm response i told you guys in the beginning of the video i was an alarm response instructor there is a way now these days let's let's just say a riot right you go back to those pelican bay videos 90s You go back to those 80s, 90s, early 2000s. And I'm sure some of the blue guys, the the guys on blue seen this shit too. Man, you see a riot, you see those officers in green, those fucking just go and grab dudes, doggy pile on top. Hey, fucking everybody is getting it, right? Everybody is getting it. Well, when everybody starts to get it, people start to get hurt. People go out on workman's comp, officers go out on workman's comp, officers get fucking punched, probably stabbed in the process, right? Because you're now engaged in this. So the department having some wit said, you know what? There has to be a better way. There has to be a safer way. Yeah, it's called alarm response. So technically, and I'm not giving up game here. It's just, I mean, they fuck, you can see it in every video that's out right now. You see something kick off. A three-on-three little mini riot. You, uh... The person on scene wait, waits until enough sufficient responding staff comes so that it's safe. You set up a skirmish line, which you guys see in the videos. You set up a line. You have a use of force option out. Your baton. Your, uh... OC pepper spray, oleoresin capsicum, your grenades, now they have the CS powder, the OC powder, the thing that took the CN off the line, and you utilize your use of force when the criteria are met, right, let's see, gain compliance with a lawful order, overcome resistance, affect custody, and subdue an attacker, goes, you know, there gets more deeper into that. We can't use force just for gaining, solely gaining compliance anymore. Something else has to be met, another criteria. 
So then that's when you see him spray. So I think I had posted that video of Sentinella State Prison, that, that brutal fucking stabbing, right? Which was normal. You got the officers waiting there, right? Well, you know, you could also utilize that gun, right? The 40, the 40 millimeter. That's also use of force. That's also alarm response. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, so technically they were not in violation of policy, especially when they can articulate on the report. A, hey, these guys had freaking bone crushers. I, I felt I would have got stabbed had I fucking got anywhere near them. Which is, which is a possibility. Um, so the pepper spray. You know. Well Hector. Is there a minimum distance. That you guys can use that. Pepper spray. Well there is a manufactured. Uh, recommendation. It says no less than six feet. They don't want you to be using. The pepper spray. No less than six feet. Because it says with the pressure. You can blow somebody's eyeball out you know the manager would always be like well they were less than six feet away and it's like all right well that's not a violation of policy that's a fucking uh uh recommendation from the manufacturer it says it right here on the fucking can right is it policy or is it not um has there been instances where pepper spray got utilized um closer closer than six feet from what I've heard, yeah. From what I've heard, you know, you hear old Miss Miss uh, folks tales. There may or may not have been inmates that have spit in officers' faces. <laughs> Toma puto. And that the officer loses their damn minds, put the pepper spray can in their fucking mouth and just... <laughs> right? I, again, I never fucking physically seen that shit. But I've heard, like, stories. I bet you got somebody saying, I told you. I told you that shit happened to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> we're not trained to do that right we're trained to shoot uh shoot we're trained to utilize chemical agents at six feet and you know within its proper effective range 40 millimeter do not be shooting people in the head i have told you guys a story about that where the dude the south sider got killed by getting shot in the head with a block gun that is no fucking joke um Trained to shoot at the legs, right? The lower extremities. Uh, the, do people move? Is there lag time? Do rounds fucking bounce ricochet? Oh, 100% rounds ricochet, right? Uh, but to put another emphasis on it, man, I might just save your ass. Do not. Do not aim that fucking 40 millimeter at anybody's head unless, unless it meets the lethal force criteria. Deadly force, lethal force. Then you can utilize the 40 millimeter to shoot something in the head. You guys didn't even know that, right? So if I'm over here or you got two uh, inmates stabbing the dog shit out of another one, you get the mini 14, you go, it goes, nothing happens, right? You're like, oh, fuck, you have enough wits, right? You've been, been in combat, you've seen some things. You pick up the 40 millimeter, fuck, this is all I have left. If, if, if I don't fucking stop this threat right now, that dude getting stabbed is going to die. Aim for the head with the direct impact round. Right, this is me talking. This is me talking me. And aim for the head and shoot him in the head. Boom! Out. May or may not kill him. I told you, I've seen a killed person once. Doesn't kill him all the time. Um. Then you articulate. A. Hey, I utilize lethal force with that 40 millimeter. Then they're going to activate the whole DFIT, Deadly Force Investigation Team. They're going to call in ISU. They're going to call in OIA. They're going to fucking tape everything off. It's now a crime scene. Right? It's done been a crime scene when everybody was getting stabbed up. Uh, you're going to get interviewed. You're going to have to do a uh, public safety statement. You know, in what directions did you shoot your rounds? Did you think you hit anybody else? Did you observe any weapons? So, after you shoot, after you utilize lethal force, you, uh, you got to give a public safety statement. It is, not a, it is not a thorough report. It is not a thorough documentation. It's a simple list of simple questions. If you search my name on Psalms and you go to 
the Bravo Yard stabbing between inmate Joe Mendez, a.k.a. Yoda, where he stabbed the officers. I came in that day as the crisis response team commander and the PIO. Imagine that, wearing two hats. And I took the public safety statement from that officer in the observation. Man, I even knew that officer from back in Sentinella. So it's just a small world, right? Um, you can see what a public safety statement looks like. I might have it around here. I might even upload it to my Patreon. Who knows? Might as well sign up. Hit the link in the description below. Uh, that was a little pretty good, pretty good class on, on, on training right there, guys. For everybody to know that we cannot shoot people's hands, knives out of the hands. It's just unrealistic. It doesn't work that way. Um... Yeah, and we don't shoot to kill, we shoot to stop the threat. With that, with that, this is going to be the message. And it doesn't matter where you work, right? You need to know policy. It's a fucking absolute must, right? And in the army, they used to tell us, you need to know the rules so you can know how to break them. That's not what they necessarily meant by it, but it's like, now more so, it's you need to know the rules so that when you get in trouble, you can tell them, no, I don't need to be in trouble right now. This is why I did what you did. You've taught me how to do all of this. There's a lot of that going on. People getting in trouble for doing what they are trained to do. Um, believe that. So, wherever you work, no policy. Be confident in your abilities to carry that stuff out, right? And then, when you get opportunities, teach the new kids. I don't give a fuck where you work, man. I don't think people understand, well, my warriors on here do, the true importance of bringing up that new generation. That fucking new generation will replace us, right? I'm telling you, we live in the best country in the world. I'm telling you, right? Even though we got people chapped in it from everywhere, you get what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck where you're at. Teach the people coming up the ropes, right? I don't give a fuck if you're tired, you're hungry, you're sleepy. They need it. They need it bad. Keep pushing forward.